Hey everyone, welcome to Compline for Sunday, August the 30th. It's good to be with you tonight. You'll see tonight that we're once again uh, lifting up through our Savior Lutheran Church our semi annual commitment to serve lunch in the inner city of Edmonton uh, through the community of Emmanuel and inner city pastoral ministry. So, thanks for those who um, were so generous last week. We're uh, about three quarters of our way to our, our cost for this uh, mission. And yeah, any contributions are very much appreciated. They're, they're of course, tax deductible through um, Facebook giving. And uh, not just asking for money, but your prayers too for the community of Emmanuel. Uh, of course, our inner city residents are oftentimes uh, among the most vulnerable in our cities. And so give thanks for that. And um, again, the amazing, just can't pump the tires of inner city pastoral ministry enough. They do great work uh, contextualizing the gospel uh, for the people of that community. So uh, yeah, appreciate that. And, and we're giving thanks for uh, that opportunity to serve our brothers and sisters. Thanks, Carrie. Blessings to you. So let me say hi to everybody. Hey, Carrie and Curtis and Katika. Blessings. Robin, welcome. Hey, peace be with you, Karen. Thank you. I did have a good day. Um, a little tired, but it's all good. Rose, peace to you. Good evening. Tammy, blessings to you, sister. Hey, Dan, blessings. Peace to you, Marilyn and Irene. Blessings to Curtis and Heidi, uh, Glenda, blessings. Peace be with you, everybody. Hi, Mom. Blessings to you and Auntie Joyce. Yeah, so Heidi is actually, does um, because of COVID, uh, normally we would gather at our, at our Savior and we would uh, pack up We'll make a whole pile of sandwiches and cut a bunch of cheese and crudite and all kinds of stuff and take it down and then serve it. COVID uh, makes that a bit more complicated. So we serve more like brown bags and, and Heidi's able to make a whole bunch of our um, like breakfast bars and cookies and um, everything has to be individually wrapped right now. So Heidi has a kitchen that's capable of handling that. So we're giving thanks for Heidi. Uh, and uh, Heidi, if you want to just go ahead and type in the chat the name of your company. It's escaping me just now, but happy to lift that up and appreciate your generosity in supporting this mission too. So tonight uh, we are through Psalm 119. Tonight uh, we read together Psalm 120, and now we are on kind of the home stretch. All of our Psalms are about... Well, not all of them, but we're on to a, until about 135, we're on to a much shorter section of the Psalms. So look forward to that with you over the next week or two. And uh, thanks, Heidi. Cookies and cream, of course. So uh, Psalm 120, and I thought, I love the lyrics to hymn number 381, Peace to Soothe Our Bitter Woes. I think you'll see how that goes with the psalm, but I don't know that tune. <laughs> so instead, we'll sing what's right there on the page beside it, Now the Green Blade Rises, which is one of my favorite Easter hymns. So I hope you'll like it too. Hear these uh, lyrics for peace to soothe our bitter woes. Peace to soothe our bitter woes, God in Christ on us bestows. Jesus bought our peace with God, with his holy precious blood. Peace in him for sinners found is the gospel's joyful sound. Peace within the church still dwells in our welcomes and farewells. And through God's baptismal power, peace surrounds our dying hour. Peace be with you, full and free, now and through eternity. 
Friends, we begin as it is good and wise to begin all things under the care of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. By day, O God, you grant your steadfast love, and at night your song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. Friends, let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. I confess to God Almighty, before the whole company of heaven, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned by my own fault. In thought, word, and deed, I pray God Almighty to have mercy on me. Forgive me all my sins, and bring me to everlasting life. Almighty, Receive these healing words, almighty and merciful God, grant you healing and pardon and forgiveness of all your sins. Amen. Psalm 120. When I was in trouble, I called to the Lord who answered me. Deliver me, O Lord, from lying lips and from the deceitful tongue. What shall be done to you? And what more besides, O ye deceitful tongue? The sharpened arrows of a warrior along with hot glowing coals. How hateful it is that I must lodge in Meshach and dwell among the tents of Kedar. Too long have I had to live among the enemies of peace. I am on the side of peace but when I speak of it, they are for war. I remember it was probably about the year 2000. 2001, I was working on um, a, a Read the Bible in a Year program, and I, I would always get stymied in the Psalms. I just, for a long time, I found the Psalms really dense and hard to get into. And I read somewhere the kind of coaching to imagine Jesus speaking the Psalms. And uh, I can sure imagine Jesus saying uh, Psalm 120. I can sure imagine Jesus saying, I am on the side of peace, but when I speak of it, they are for war. And yet Jesus turns his face towards Jerusalem and the cross he knows awaits him there. And Jesus chooses that path. And all the suffering it entails. Not to appease God who is angry and requires it, but in order to turn that awful symbol of domination and intimidation into a sign of eternal hope. That war is in the end futile, that domination will not persist forever, that one day we will learn to speak of and wage peace instead of war. And so we sing, now the green blade rises, if you're following in a hymnal, it's number 379. Now the green blade rises from the buried grave. We eat that in dark earth many days has lain. 
Love lives again, that with the dead has been. Love is come again, like wheat a rising green. In the grave they laid him, love by hatred slain, thinking that he would never wake again. Laid in the earth, like grain that sleeps unseen, love is come again, like wheat a rising green. Forth he came at Easter, like the risen grain. He that for three days in the grave had lain, raised from the dead, my living Lord is seen. Love is come again like wheat a rising green. So Jesus says to us through Matthew in chapter 6 of his gospel, do not worry, saying, what will we eat? Or what will we drink? Or what will we wear? Indeed, your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But strive first for the dominion and the righteousness of God, and all these things will be given to you as well. So do not worry about tomorrow. And again in Matthew 11 we hear, Come to me, all you that are weary, all you that are carrying heavy burdens. Come to me and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Bless you, Dan. Thank you for your generosity tonight. Hey, Lisa. Thanks for joining in. Just seeing you here. Blessings, Carrie. Let's sing together our responsory. Your part, of course, goes like this. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O oh Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, into your hands, O, oh, into your hands I commend my spirit. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. 
Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Guide us, waking, O Lord, and guard us, sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Friends, for what and for whom shall we pray this night? Hear my prayer, O Lord, listen to my cry, keep me as the apple of your eye, hide me in the shadow of your wings. In righteousness I shall see you. When I awake, your presence will give me joy. O God, it is your will to hold both heaven and earth in a singular peace. Let the design of your great love shine on the waste of our wraths and sorrows, and give peace to your church, peace among nations, peace in our homes, peace in our hearts, through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Gracious God, grant peace among nations and cleanse from our own hearts the seeds of strife, greed and envy, harsh misunderstandings and ill will, fear and desire for revenge. Make us quick to welcome ventures in cooperation among the peoples of the world so that there may be woven the fabric of a common good too strong to be torn by the evil hands of war, and in the time of opportunity, make us to be diligent, and in the time of peril, let not our courage fail. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Eternal God, amid all the turmoil and changes of the world, your steadfast love and your strength never fails. In this time of danger and trouble, be to us a sure guardian and rock of defense. Guide the leaders of our nation with your wisdom. Comfort those in distress and grant us courage and hope to face the future. Through Jesus Christ. pray tonight with Rose. We pray, Lord, your mercy, your healing and your wholeness. We pray that you would release Rose from the grip of these migraines. That debilitate and rob joy. Just as you once said, O Jesus, to the ears of the deaf, mute, be opened. So say to Rose's muscles and nerve endings, be opened, release your death grip. Restore her to, heal, to health and wholeness. And we pray together with Heidi. For Clovis. Lord, that you'd grant her patience. 
had to deal with the cone and the meds. We give thanks for the healing that you're bringing to completion in Clovis and for the release uh, from guilt and worry that you've granted to Heidi. And we give you thanks for another successful class as Heidi works towards uh, another certification. Uh, thank you for bringing her through it. We pray together with Tammy, giving thanks for the day. Give thanks for the many and various ways, Lord, that you pour out your word of gospel, uh, your invitation and challenge to us. We pray for all the prayers uh, for healing and wellness, giving thanks that Tammy's received during these past days and weeks. And we give you thanks, Lord, for those that take time to help. And we give you thanks for the way that you have built your kingdom economy uh, so that all can contribute and that all will receive their daily bread. Blessings to you, Eric. Hi to Courtney, too. Thanks for joining in. Lord, we pray tonight with Carrie for Curtis, praying into the appointment with the surgery surgeon tomorrow. Lord, we pray that you would continue to mend his shoulder and uh, pray that you would remove every barrier and um, difficulty to surgery. And along the way, Lord, we pray that you'd keep Curtis safe. Already, we pray that you would be stirring up uh, the gifts, the wisdom, and the skills in the surgeons and caregivers that will work on Curtis's shoulders. And we long with Curtis and wait for that day when he'll be able to use those shoulders again uh, with better range of motion and less pain. O God, you made us in your own image and have redeemed us through Jesus, your Son. Look with compassion on the whole human family and take away the arrogance and hatred that infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us, unite us in the bonds of love, and through our struggle and confusion, work to accomplish your purpose on earth so that in your good time, every people and all nations, every tribe may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who teaches us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, almighty and merciful God, Father and Son and Holy Spirit. Bless, preserve, and keep us this night and forevermore. Amen. Friends, bless you. Uh, and I'll leave you again with these lines from hymn number 381, Peace to Soothe Our Bitter Woes. Peace within the church still dwells in our welcomes 
and farewells. And through God's baptismal power, peace surrounds even our dying hour. Lord, we lift up to you all who come towards the end of their earthly journey. Peace be with you, full and free, now and through eternity. Good night, friends. Good night, Heidi. Good night, Carrie and Curtis. Good night, Tammy. Good night, Eric and Courtney. Good night, Heidi. Good night, Rose and Dan. Good night, Lisa. Good night, Rita and Joyce. Good night, Robin. Good night, Katika. Good night, Marilyn and Irene. Good night, Glenda. Good night.